Hi everyone, I have got my January book of the month already, so I am so excited to share that with you. And you know what else I'm excited about? I've got some awesome friend mail, so I hope that you guys stick around and join me. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to see you guys. I want to thank you guys so much for taking a few minutes out of your day to spend with me. It means more to me than I can ever let you know. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. If you're new to my channel, I hope that you would please hit that little red subscribe button off over there and I would love to have you come back and join us for future videos. I hope that you comment on this video and of course your likes are always appreciated. I am struggling to open this bottle. You could, I was trying to hide my, you know, trying to use every muscle in my body to open this. But I'm having one of my little bottles of wine for my sip and savor. I forgot, this was like a couple of months ago. So this one is, it's cash, cask and barrel and it's a red blend that's aged in brandy barrels with maple and cherry wood. Focus, please. So I'm just going to pour a little bit in here while we open up some friend mail. I'll probably do the friend mail first and uh, then get on to the January book of the month club. So again, thank you guys so much for stopping in. Alrighty, so we got some Christmas cards in and we have one from Miss Laurie Latimer. I think everyone knows her as this fantastic. She has taught me so much about skincare because I am so late to the game and I just appreciate all the tips and everything that she's given me. So this is a beautiful card. It's some beautiful green trees here in the background and a nice snowy village. I think old style cottages like an English countryside or maybe by the Alps or something. Really pretty. And uh, dear Nancy, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you and yours. I hope your holiday season is filled with love, laughter, joy, and peace. I pray God blesses you in 2023 with his very best and also best wedges for good health and prosperity too. Love always. XOXO, Larry Latimer, Sis Fantastic. So very, very sweet and a beautiful card. I got another card and Larry has a channel, which I'm sure you probably already know, but I will have her link below as well. Janet is an awesome subscriber. She doesn't have a channel. Maybe one day she will, but right now she doesn't. And she subscribes and supports so many of us. And oh my gosh, I just, I love Janet. She's an awesome, awesome lady. So this is a beautiful card, Season's Greetings. And probably it's not gonna show, but the tree has got all kinds of sparkles on it. Really, really pretty. And the, this Christmas, hope that warmth, joy, peace, and goodwill are real gifts you can feel all around you. Hi, Nancy, I'm just hoping you have the best Christmas and happiest new year. I just love your channel and you. She's very, very sweet, too. You've encouraged me so much. Thank you for all you do. Love you, Janet. And again, Janet, she's an awesome subscriber. She just, oh, she supports a lot of us. I always see her commenting and supporting so many of us. She's just an awesome, awesome lady. My other one, my friend mail, and you know how I know it's friend mail? Because it tells me in the back that it's friend mail. And this is from Kim, from Kim's Happy Place. And I probably should have tried to open this before. It feels very spongy. So I hope, and, and I know that everybody knows Kim. She's an awesome lady. So sweet in the heart of Milwaukee. The happy days place, right? But she's got a, an awesome channel. She does a lot of giveaways and a lot of unboxings. Some really cool makeup looks and the Mask Mondays. And she just does so much. All right, I think I got everything out of here in one piece. So we got some face mask and we got some cute little stickers here. So I'm not sure if that's like a Burmese mountain dog or maybe a St. Bernard. You know, I used to have a St. Bernard. I had a St. Bernard and a Newfoundland at the same time. And this one is so cute. 
It was when we moved to a new place. It might have been in fourth or fifth grade when we moved. And we were moving to a new house. And my parents were like, no more dogs, Nancy. We are not going to have any more dogs. No animals, no cats, no dogs, no nothing. So anyway, then I guess they felt bad. And so one day my mother came home with a Newfoundland puppy for me. And that same day, my father came home with the St. Bernard puppy for me. Yeah, so I got two of them. And yeah, so Kimmy's got some more stickers here. Just really cute. All kinds of puppies. She knows I love puppies. Look at this little face. These guys are awesome. Little Corgi. That one looks like Mr. Griffin. We're going to call him Pugsley. And just another one. So cute. So thank you, Kimmy. And we've got a card. We've got a bunch of masks here as well. And hi, Nancy. I saw your recent comment about you. You love sheet masks. So I thought I'd send you some. Enjoy, my friend. Love, Kim. And again, Kim is a budding artist too so she's always does that beautiful rose and she did a video a while ago showing some of her artwork that she's done over the years it was very very impressive and all these sheet masks yeah I'm going to be a sheet masking maniac so we have a plainest this radiant facial mask with this little cute little fox on it this dermal mask with olive, olive, olive collagen essence. A hydration mask because I need hydration. It's like you just go out to the mailbox. Well, right now it's not too bad. It's about 29 degrees, but you can just kind of feel your skin just dry up. A retinol mask, so that should be awesome. Nourishing rice. I hope I don't eat it because I'm hungry. Jasmine. Oh, I love the scent of jasmine. That one should be awesome. Thank you so much, Kimmy. And vitamin C. Gee, I wonder why she sent me this one. <laughs> this uh, snail honey jelly mask. So we all remember Jean from, uh, yeah, the snail mask extravaganza. That was really fun. And then we got this one, Dew of the Gods. So we got that under eye volumizing yeah i could really use that thank you so much kimmy thank you laurie latimer and thank you janet i am so touched by your kindness i'm just gonna put those over there because i will use one tonight after i wash this off and on to the book of the month so the book of the month and i'll leave my link below if you are interested and i've had two really nice people use my link so thank you very much monique and janet but um hopefully the link works like it used to sometimes people said it was like nine dollars some people said the link should be five dollars i know their prices have gone up recently so i'm not exactly sure what it would be but it would be give you a little bit of a discount and plus when you join you get your own link so if anyone uses your link you also get a free book every time someone uses your link so that's really nice uh, the, otherwise your first book would be $9.99 if you just went on the site and did it without anybody's link after that your next book is going to be $15.99 shipping is free um, they do charge sales tax so, so I think mine comes out to like $17.17 with the tax I did get two books this month, but we're only going to show you one. The other one is the one that I was waiting to get all four books in the series. So I got that one. So we will do that one at another time. You always get a little bookmark here. And girls just want to have books. Maybe I should have a sip so that I can sing a little better. Cheers, everyone. Mmm. That. That is good. All right, so well, first we're going to do the books that I didn't get. And I hope that if you get this subscription or you've read some of these books, if you could just tell me if it's something I should put on my TBR list. They all sounded amazing this month. Again, we had seven selections. Usually we get five. We had seven this month to choose from. 
Alrighty, so the first one was a literary fiction. It was called The Age of Vice by Depti Kapoor. So this is The Age of Vice, where money, pleasure, and power are everything, and the family ties that bind can also kill. Deftly shifting through time and perspective in contemporary India, Age of Vice is an epic, action-packed story propelled by seductive wealth, startling corruption, and bloodthirsty violence of the Wadia family. Loved by some, loathed by others, feared by all. In the shadow of lavish estates, extravagant parties, predatory business deals, and calculated political influence, three lives become dangerously intertwined. Ajay is a watchful servant born into poverty who rises through the family ranks. Sonny is a playboy heir who dreams of outshining his father, whatever the cost. And Nada is the curious journalist caught between morality and desire. Against a sweeping plot, fueled by loss, pleasure, greed, yearning, violence, and revenge, will these characters' connections become a path to escape or a trigger of further destruction? Next, we have a romance, Lunar Love, by Lauren Kung Jessen. When it comes to love and matchmaking of her clients, Olivia's principles and business are guided by the Chinese Zodiac, which she learned all the ins and outs from her grandmother. Why bet against something that's been around for 2,000 plus years? Enter Bennett O'Brien, a tech CEO of a new dating app, also based on the Zodiac, who actually would like to make some minor adjustments. In fact, he's got an algorithm or two with a side of charming banter. The push and pull romance between Olivia and Bennett will leave you feeling like you're the best friend who just wants to tell them to shut up and kiss already. It's the type of impatience that'll make you eat a bun fresh from the oven, even when you know it'll burn you because sometimes the risk is worth it. Alrighty, next we have Queen of Thieves. And this one, this one really sounded interesting too, by Breezy March. So this is London, 1946. The city struggles to rebuild after the devastation of the Blitz. Food is rationed, good jobs are scar scarce, and even the most honest families are forced to take a bit of crooked just to survive. Alice Diamond, the Queen of Thieves, rules over all her female gang with a bejeweled fist. Her hoisters are expert shoplifters, the scourge London's upscale boutiques and department stores. Their lucrative business stealing and fencing luxury goods always carries the threat of violence. Alice packs a razor and has been known to use her heavy rows of diamond rings like brass knuckles. Young Nell is a teenager from the slums, hiding a secret pregnancy and facing a desperately uncertain future when Alice takes her under her wing. Before long, Nell is experiencing all the dangers and glamorous trappings that comes with this underworld existence. Alice wants Nell to be a useful weapon in her ongoing war against crime boss Billy Sullivan's gang of rival thieves. But Nell has a hidden agenda of her own and is not to be underestimated. The more she is manipulated by both Alice and Billy, the more her hunger for revenge grows. As Nell embraces the rich spoils of crime and the seedy underbelly of London, will she manage to carve out her own path of power and riches? Might she even crown herself the Queen of Thieves? 
Alrighty, this next one is a fantasy. It's called Hellbent by Lee Bardugo. And this is the second in a series. So in this epic follow-up to Ninth House, Alex Stern thinks one can just casually go to hell and bring friends back. Find a gateway to the underworld. Steal a soul out of hell. A simple plan. Except people who make this particular journey really come back. But Galaxy Alex Stern is determined to break Darlington out of purgatory, even if it cost her a future at Leth and at Yale. Forbidden from attempting a rescue, Alex and Dawes can't call on the Ninth House for help. So they assemble a team of dubious allies to save the gentlemen of Leith. Together, they will have to navigate a maze of arcane text and bizarre artifacts to uncover the society's most closely guarded secrets and break every rule doing it. But when faculty members begin to die off, Alex knows these aren't just accidents. Something deadly is at work in New Haven and she is going to survive. She'll have to reckon with the monsters of her past and a darkness to build into the university's very walls. Alrighty, next we have a romance. It's called The Reunion by Kayla Olson. Liv Latimer grew up on TV. As the star of a popular teen drama, Girl on the Verge, Liv spends her adolescence on screen trying to be as picture perfect as her character in real life. But after the death of her father and the betrayal of her on-screen love interest and off-screen best friend Ransom Joel, Liv wanted nothing more to retreat. Living a mostly normal life aside from the few indie film roles, but now, 20 years after the show's premiere, the cast is invited back for a reunion special, financed by a major streaming service. Liv is happy to be back on the set, especially once she discovers Ransom has only improved with age, and their chemistry is certainly still intact. They quickly fall into their old rhythms, rediscovering what had drawn them together decades before. But with these new rivalries among the cast emerging and the specter of a reboot, reboot shadowing their shoot, Liv questions whether returning to the past is what she finally needs to get her own happy ending. Alrighty, so next we have a historical fiction. It's called Independence, and it's India, 1947. In a rural village in Bengal live three sisters, daughters of a well-respected doctor. Priya, intelligent and idealistic, resolved to follow in her father's footsteps and become a doctor, though society frowns on it. Deppa, the beauty determined to make a marriage that will bring her family joy and status. And Jamini, devout, sharp-eyed, sharp -eyed, and a talented quilt maker with deeper passions than she reveals. Theirs is a home of love and safety, a refuge from the violent events taking shape in the nation. Then their father is killed during a riot and even their neighbors turn against them, bringing the events of their country closer to home. When the partition of India is officially decided, a drastic and dangerous change is in the air. India is now for Hindus, Pakistan for Muslims. The sisters find themselves separated from one another, each on different paths. They fear for what will happen to not just themselves, but each other. Alrighty, and now for the one that I chose. I'm going to have a little sip before then, so cheers everyone. You know I love a good thriller. This one sounds really good. Cheers. That is a really good one. So this one is a thriller, What Lies in the Woods 
by Kate Alice Marshall. Alrighty, see so you ready? Alrighty, so they were 11 when they sent a killer to prison. They were heroes, but they were liars. Naomi Shaw used to believe in magic. 22 years ago, she and her two best friends, Cassidy and Olivia, spent the day roaming the woods, imagining a world of ceremony and wonder. They called it the goddess game. The summer ended suddenly when Naomi was attacked. Miraculously, she survived her 17 stab wounds and lived to identify the man who had hurt her. The girl's testimony put away a serial killer, wanted for murdering six women. They were heroes and they were liars. For decades, the friends have kept a secret worth killing for, but now Olivia wants to tell and Naomi sets out to find what really happened in the woods, no matter how dangerous the truth turns out to be. Alrighty, so that one should be interesting read, I think. I love a good thriller. I'm still looking for that five-star book that I just can't wait to put down. I have got back into reading this past week, just trying to catch up, doing shutting the computer off by 11. 30 and maybe trying to get an hour in a night and I'm really enjoying the book I'm reading looking forward to reading all these books that I've been buying and not reading and I want to thank you guys for joining me I want to thank Janet and Laurie Latimer and I want to stay not shake but <laughs> thank oh what's in this wine and thank Kim from Kim's Happy Place. Uh, you guys are just amazing. And just being in this community is just such a rewarding and such a thankful and humbling experience. And I am so blessed to have you guys in my life. So thank you so much, ladies. Thank you, everyone who watched this video. Your comments, of course, are always welcome. Any books that you've been getting from the Book of the Month Club that I've been missing, I hope that you tell me about them. If you've read any of those books or you picked them for your Book of the Month, I look forward to hearing you talk about them as well. And before I go on any farther, I want to thank you guys again. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Be kind. Be happy. Enjoy life. Have some fun. And we will see you guys in our next video. Love you guys. Bye-bye.